What's going on guys? Welcome back to Renowned Explorers. Uh, first of all, before we begin, begin the second part, I want to thank you all for the support on the first video. Uh, normally I really don't go out of my way to thank you guys, but it was actually pretty awesome to see how many people watched the video and enjoyed it. So uh, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate that. And with that out of the way, though, uh, let's go ahead and check out this Viking longship or longboat. I think it's a longship, though, uh, but I could be wrong. And we're going to go ahead and check this out. This is the uh, uh, the whole reason that we came to this island was to check out this boat. We, As you can see, we've crossed pretty much the entire island. Uh, we only missed a few little things here and there. Uh, but we had a good time. We had a good time. We saw a lot of things. Now let's go ahead and check out this boat. The Viking boat must be nearby. Once you get there, this expedition will come to an end. You can come back to this place when you wish to continue later. Are you ready to go? Uh, this option is really only if you, for some reason, go to the uh, the longship. Uh, or longboat. Okay, now I feel like it might be longboat. I don't know. Um, but this is only really if you accidentally go there without realizing that this is the whole goal of the expedition. Um, but we're gonna go onwards. The crew searches the hills and deals thoroughly until you spot it in the distance, in an intact viking boat. The crew rushes towards this amazing find. It will surely skyrocket your reputation at the renowned Explorer Society. Get closer. The crew stop by a familiar face. <laughs> the French explorer Rivalle, number one in the most promising explorer's rankings. He laughs. Thank you, amateur. How very lucky you are to find this fine viking boat just after me. Under rule 24B of the explorer mandate, fellow explorers should help each other out. And I really need this treasure to affirm my number one position. Your help will not be forgotten. Well, maybe. Explain that this is your treasure. Rivalo continues, most unfortunate, maybe you should talk to my most intelligent and diplomatic scientist, Lady Cassandra Shafiq. I'm positive that she'll handle the situation with utmost respect while I take the vessel. Hey, wait a minute. Before Victor can stop Rivalois, crew scientist Cassandra steps forward. Hello, fellow renowned explorers. Why such a hurry, no? Let's discuss this matter at an easy, civilized pace, yes? She's not letting you pass. Defend yourselves. Here we go. So this is basically how the first expedition always ends. Uh, Rivalo shows up and he has one of his lackeys uh, stall you while he s tries to steal your uh, your treasure. So if we resolve this in a friendly manner, we um, Cassandra will be pleased. If we're devious, she is not super happy, but at least she's not happy. She's happy that we didn't use violence, and she will think that we are a brute when we use uh, aggressive uh, measures. So. Basically, the goal is to be friendly here because she will appreciate it and give us a good reward for that. So we'll send Victor over to deal with... Well... All right, that's good. So we now have two party members who can heal. That's actually very nice. Uh, we'll send Victor over here. Yeah, he could use his uh, new peace treaty ability. Or... Oh, we don't have the... Okay. All right, let's give it a try. Let's use the uh, peace treaty. Use it. Victor. There we go. Sweet. All right, so we got one of the guys. The other is almost uh, convinced. Um, so that was a good move. Then we got Kwame and Amelia. Uh, she will not be able to reach the enemy. We could hit one with a devious move. So let's go ahead and do that. It's got to make sure that we keep it friendly in the end. Because I would like some rewards for this, please. All right, Kwame. This is all you, buddy. Excite the enemy. Look how nice he is. I would be very excited if he were to do that uh, to me. All right, here we go. The mood is pleasant. Everybody is nice, which means that... Uh, aggressive attacks are uh, extra effective because you would essentially be backstabbing the enemy because they're not actually your enemy. That's sort of the point. 
Uh, so it fits, and that's cool. But if you do do that, then it will turn into an aggressive encounter. Um, and turning it, you know, back to a friendly encounter is going to be pretty tough. Oh man, this guy is very nice to me. I don't like that. Let's encourage him and teach him a lesson, apparently. I also think it's quite strange that the number one explorer in the world uh, is bringing along a pack of mobsters. Uh, that's a bit strange, but I'll allow it. Because we're just gonna, gonna be very nice to the mobsters. Kwame uh, apparently is very, very good when he's friendly. He is, uh, he's doing a lot of, well, I don't want to call it damage, but, I mean, that's basically what it is. Alright, we took care of the mobsters, now Cassandra's all that is left. Um, she could probably do some damage here, but... Uh, we do have some healing abilities. Alright, go, Victor. Alright. There you go, encourage her. Or, yeah, encourage, that's what it was. Then, I want you to go over here. Use Tranquility. Uh, to both of you, that is just a, that is a brilliant healing spell. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using that a whole lot. And let's excite Cassandra. She's actually pretty, uh, pretty weak to it, apparently. But, uh, that's just, that's Kwame for you. Very, very nice guy. Very friendly. She tries to get him, but he won't fall for it. He's not, he's not impressed at all. We actually don't have any impress abil uh, abilities. Which would have been nice, but we don't have them. Uh, alright. Excite. <laughs> and there we go. Encounter has been dealt with. We get some nice tokens, and, uh, she Cassandra is pleased. Cassandra's pleased. Oh my, I haven't seen such well-mannered rookies in a while, yes? I'll be rooting for your success. Please have this treasure map. It's a small thing, but you might be able to use it. Oh, thank you. We are well-mannered, and we got a treasure map. Alright, <laughs> we're left with a cryptic treasure map. Its meaning is pretty cryptic. Let's take a look. The crew states their interpretations of the treasure map. Alright, so Amelia says there's an antiquity site. Victor says that there's a uh, buried treasure deep underground. And Kwame thinks there is a landmark that the locals might recognize. I think I am going to go with the antiquity site. Uh, because Amelia might be able to dig it up. And I'm not so sure about the other options, I think. So, I definitely would not take Victor's choice. So, I'm going to go with, with that one. Okay, the crew conducted research in the area where the longship used to be. The crew carefully follows the clues and bits left behind by history. Managed to find something. A new treasure. Fantastic. The leprechaun. We actually got it. Look at that. I thought this was supposed to be extremely rare. An amazingly bright emerald amulet. This must bring you good fortune. And there we go. With this last find, your expedition still concludes in a high note. However, it's clear that if you want to be the most renowned explorer, you'll have to be, uh, be Rivalo. Now it's personal. Back to London. And that is the end of our very first... Expedition. Friendly. We have a reputation to be friendly. We got the brooch and the leprechaun. Very nice. Lots and lots of campaign. Uh, study, not so much. Apparently, I always pick teams that get a lot of status. Uh, Alright, continue. So now we have 191 renown, while uh, Rivalo has about 2,000. A magnificent job. The board of the renowned Explorers International Society is impressed by your exploration skills in the Highlands. For this achievement, Chairman Pinkerton gives you an upgrade to your airship, which will allow you to carry more supplies. Alright, so we got the badge, and we can now carry more supplies with us. Pinkerton tells you, we're pleased that you're aiming to become the number one explorer. However, I wonder if you can beat the already successful Rivalo. We hope that you will uncover many secrets in your endeavors. The society has many leads as to where secrets may lie in wait. You can do four more expeditions before the most renowned explorer is elected, so make them count. Alright. You gather your thoughts to determine your course of action. We spend research uh, to unlock technology. I already know all this, so I'll just show you anyway. Um, Alright, here we go. 
There is a reference guide which I have never actually used. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's basically just repeats everything. So right now we have 235 gold, almost 400 status after the very first mission. Uh, no doubt the uh, leprechaun was a big help in that as well. Renown isn't too bad, I think. I don't know. But let's start with the research. We only have 27, which isn't that much. We can unlock preparation or chronicles. Choose this tree if you want to gain more resources from expeditions and jobs. Choose this tree if you want stronger characters and gain more from an encounter. Um, I think that one of the first things that we should get to is field rations because it will allow us to uh, carry around more supplies and go on longer missions. I mean, that's just one of the better ones. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock preparation, which will also allow us to gain extra study when doing a study job with insight. And there you go. That's all the research that we have because uh, the cost will increase with 10 after every uh, research paper that you write. Um, all right. So next we have almost 400 status, which we can use right over here in Stockholm to um, hire helpers and specialists. Uh, helpers give you a little bit of extra resource per token so we can get extra gold. I usually go with the extra research because I, for some reason, I always end up with lots of status and gold, but not too much research. So I get some students to follow me around. Uh, and then I'll get merchant and we can also get a specialist. Uh, they're all unique and you can only get one out of every tier pretty much. Uh, there's Chairman Pinkerton, uh, Emily the Decorated, and Hannah, Hannah ha ha Haas, Haas, I don't know, Observer. Get an extra study if you resolve an encounter friendly, aggressive friendly. So you really got to pick uh, which one would suit you the best. I think I would definitely go with Hannah because she gives you extra study uh, for friendly victories and we will probably see some of those. So I'm going to go ahead and hire her. So now she will follow us around and we can just get another merchant or just upgrade our shop, uh, which will allow us to get even more different uh, helpers. We'll get another student and there you go. That's uh, that's all of our status put to pretty good use. And we still have some money though to spend. Uh, let's see. So we got, we basically have armor that give, will give us, uh, well, armor protection from physical attacks, speech defense, and grit. Um, these boots are for scouts only, which we don't have in a party, so this will not be possible for us to use, sadly. So what I should probably get is I'm going to sell all the equipment we have right now because it's pretty terrible and I'll get uh, let's see definitely armor for Victor I think or well he's got pretty poor speech defense so I'll get him I'll get him this uh, this ring and then I'll get Kwame the normal armor and I will get uh, Amelia I mostly use her from range, so I will give her the memento as well. Leaving us with a hundred gold. Uh, we can buy either one of these trinkets to get another perk. Engineer survivalist, but I'm not entirely sure that we actually have one of those in a party. We do not, so we could give someone an engineer perk by buying the monkey wrench. Or survivalist perk as well. Uh, why don't we make... Let's say Kwame the engineer, maybe. Well, we can always change it later. That's fine. He will be the group's engineer then. And that leaves us with three insight, which we can spend on anything that we'd like. Uh, there is a job in a Berlin University, uh, Paris and London. And depending on our stats, we can get special rewards from these. And, um, see, we can get four research if we use Amelia, and it only takes us uh, one insight. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, that was just one insight that we used. So it's actually a pretty, pretty powerful resource there. Um, I'll get tools of the trade. Start every expedition with one extra tool. 
I don't really know what that means. I think I I might know where to find it, so we'll definitely check this out. I've never used this before, so that'll be new for me as well. Um, so I'm picking that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do one more research job with Amelia. So that we can get the extra supplies for our next expedition. Uh, there we go, field rations. And now, we can carry around 12 supplies, which is a lot more than we were able to carry around before. I'll just use the other inside for more research. So we can grab another technology or study research paper. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it. And we could unlock Chronicles, which does have some decent stuff, but I would like to try something else. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Explorer's Toolkit for that extra tool. And oh, actually, extra insight after we finish an expedition is also very, very powerful. Yeah, I'll grab that one. All right, there you go. Okay, so that is all that we can do in the uh, the headquarters. We leveled up, we used all our resources, and that's pretty much that. Uh, yep, already took care of that. Uh, exotic location uncovered in the Icelandic Isles by promising explorer Victor Signac. Explorer Society board members are excited at the progress of this dashing diplomat. And that's the newspaper. You always get a newspaper after every expedition. Uh, which is pretty fun. Uh, entourage, we can see our treasures, already checked that. I just want to make sure I don't leave anything out for people watching that want to see everything. Uh, but alright, now we get to choose our next expedition. We already checked the Icelandic Isles. Now we can go to the Hungarian Fort. Or the Caribbean Island. Um, I think I might just want to start with the, well, let's check the description first of all. Uh, difficulties two stars, Lady of Aduva, the treasurer of the renowned explorers, has notified you of a for forgotten ford. Fort. It used to be a secret alchemy lab in the Middle Ages. Okay. Expert tactician, archaeologist, quick thinker, and diplomat challenges, as well as plenty of status. A devious approach might make most encounters easier. And it will unlock an entourage shop in Constantinople. Uh, the Caribbean island is also two stars. The once fierce Dutch pirate Roche disappeared many years ago after burying his pirate treasure. Monkeys and smugglers will oppose you, and an aggressive approach could make it easier. Expect nature challenge and technique challenge in abundance. There's a lot to study for research. Um, Alright, so we have a big entourage already. I would like more research. So this might be a terrible mistake, but let's go for the uh, Caribbean island. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Here we go. And there's no way to reverse this choice because we're playing on adventure mode. Finally, you can start your search for Roche's treasure. The treasure, once stolen from the Spanish Silver Fleet, should be somewhere on this pristine and beautiful island. Victor looks at the map you got from Pinkerton to find out where. A place near a waterfall. And there it is. It all shows up at the start of the expedition. The crew sets foot on the beautiful island and looks around. Just when Victor finds some man-made debris and realizes that this island is not as uninhabited as you first thought, you've got company. Smugglers! They come rushing towards you. Our secret island has been discovered. We've got to silence them, mates. It seems they will leave you no choice. Stand your ground. Alright, opponent reinforcements arrive. We've only just started. If we win this uh, in a friendly fashion, we get extra study. Obviously, we would love to get that, but it's uh, it's a toughie. It could be it could be a toughie because we got let's see three pirates right there. Wait, that's it. Okay, I thought there'd be more. Uh, they're weak to enrage attacks, which, as it turns out, we have a lot of. So this could be pretty good. Um, all right, let's start with actually. Kwame. I want to see what he can do. Terrify. We can just be excited and just, you know, yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. I have no idea how much damage the pirates will do. Or the smugglers, actually. They're not even real pirates. Um, alright. I will send Victor over here and use a peace treaty on these fellas. Uh, which should give them lower attack. And seeing as they're aggressive, that will make them, uh... It will make them, uh, weaker. Which is very good for us. Yahoo! There you go. 
All right, now let's see what these uh, these pirates can do. This could hurt. I guess we'll find out. Well, that's okay. That's not that bad, actually. Yeah, this man likes shooting from a distance. Okay, pretty manageable. Pretty manageable. Okay, that one really hurt, but we're still okay. Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and encourage... Yep, encourage this, uh, this lady smuggler. Alright, see you later. You're now, you're now on our side. Alright. Yep, that should work. And there we go. That smuggler's also done. Now, let's put an end to this one as well. This one's actually really quite tough. And there we are. One with a friendly approach, meaning we get extra study. And obviously some encounter tokens as well. With the smugglers out of the way, your crew has enough time to hide the boat and to start exploring the island. Sadly, it seems that this island is a smuggler's hideout. Better be careful. Ready to go, Victor leads the crew into adventure. Adventure awaits. Alright, so that is the start of our second expedition. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, in the next part, we will explore the island, see what we can find. And uh, please let me know what you think of the video so far. I'm trying to explain things as I go. Um, seeing as, you know, I've already played this game. So if you have any questions or anything of that kind, please let me know. Or any feedback, really, whatsoever. You know, let me know. That's fine. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys.